Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Explain channel and welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to discuss about the solar radiation measurements. That is the instruments which are used for measuring the solar radiation. Okay, the instruments which are used, those are pyranometer, pyrohelometers and sunshine recorders. Working of the, these devices, I am going to discuss in this session. First one, we will take that is a solar radiation flux. There is a solar radiation is usually measured with help of pyrohelometer, pyranometer and sunshine recorder. It is used for measuring the sunshine. And first we will take that is a pyranometer. The pyranometer is the instrument which is used for measuring the either diffuse radiation or global radiation. The diffuse radiation means which is reflected by the sky and the some of the particles, air particles in the sky and also the whatever the, which is reflected or deflected by the clouds present in the sky and that radiation, the indirect radiation which is to be falling on the uh, surface that is measured by using this pyranometer. It consists of as a black surface here and glass domes here the glass domes which are protective and guard plate and leveling screws and mounting plate and crowded boards and platform we are going to use for this one the instrument it is having and here usually in this one the solar radiation which is whatever is there that is reflected and that is falling on this one by the diffuse radiation and if you uh, totally the beam radiation as well as the both diffuse radiation falls on this one then the, that is the global radiation we are going to measure the global radiation if the global radiation if we measure then the whatever the shading ring whatever is there that is not provided if the uh, measuring the only the diffuse radiation the shading ring is provided here that shades the whatever this uh, black surface is there that is the thermopile usually and that will uh, is uh, receives the only reflected radiation not the direct radiations and in this one when the whatever the radiation falls on this one black surface that is a thermopile and which will generate the emf that whatever the emf produced that one that starts from the one junction of the thermopile is kept at that point hot point another one is kept in the shading and there the uh, EMF that is whatever the form that is allowed to flow the current and that current is measured which is measure of the radiation what is there and that is how the measuring will be taking place if we uh, use the all the beam radiation as well as the re reflected radiation there is a diffuse radiation that the measurement of the global radiation and for the particularly when we say this whatever the thermopile is there then the only diffuse radiation fall on that one that will measure the diffuse radiation. Then explanation of this we will discuss here. The pyranometer is an instrument which measures either global or a diffuse radiation falling on horizontal surface over a hemispherical field of field or the hemispherical field whatever is there above that one on that what radiation is falling that will be measured. A sketch of one type of pyranometer is installed for measuring global radiation is shown in the figure. That is the one type. There are different types of the pyranometers are there. One type what I shown in the previous slide. Pyranometer consists of a black surface which heats up when exposed to solar radiation. That black surface will be heats up when exposed to the solar radiation. Its temperature increases until the rate of heat gain by solar radiation equals to rate of heat loss by the conduction, convection, conduction and radiation. That whatever the rate of heat which is receiving by the solar radiation by that black surface is equal to that solar uh, heat lost by the conduction and conduction radiation up to that one that will be get heated. The hot junctions of thermopile are attached to the black surface while the cold junctions are located under the guard plate so that they do not receive the radiation directly. As a result, an EMF is generated. 
that is the electromotive force is generated. Okay. Electromotive force between the hot and the cold junctions will be generated. This seam up which is usually in the range of 0 to 10 millivolt can be read and recorded and integrated over a period of time and is a measure of global radiation that whatever the EMF we are going to measure that will be the record of the global radiation which is proportional to that what radiation we are going to receive. The pyranometer can be used for measurement of the diffuse radiation also. This is done by mounting it at the center of the semicircular shading ring. There is a shading ring is provided over that one so that direct radiation will not be fall on it. Only the reflected and deflected whatever the radiations are there those will be fall on the that measuring uh, black surface. The shading ring is fixed in such a way that its plane is parallel to the plane of the path of the sun's daily movement across the sky and it says the thermophile element and two glass domes of pyranometer at all times from direction sign. Okay, then consequently the pyranometer measures only diffuse radiation received from the sky. When we shading ring is provided, okay, which is directly above that whatever the sun sun's position is there and that should be covered always and that should be whatever the track the sun's direction so that only the diffuse radiation will be received so by that one we can measure the diffuse radiation by the same instrument as a pyranometer. This is about the working of the pyranometer. The next we will go for the another meter that is a pyroheliometer. The pyroheliometer what is there? It is used for measuring the only that is beam radiation or a direct radiation. It consists of a glass tube, the tube okay, which is blackened inside and it, there is a one that is a temperature compensation that is a black surface of the thermophile what is the absorber plate which will generate the whatever the EMF is required and here the whatever this tube is there within the acceptance angle of 5 degree the whatever the beam radiation falling on it it will be measured and for this the two axis tracking mechanism the two axis okay in the two axis tracking mechanism is provided okay then one is morning tuning tracking and daily tracking the another axis and the temperature compensation the instrument will be there the insulation is provided in order to uh, avoid the loss of heat and this is the black absorber plate the thermocouples what are there which will measure the that whatever the heat is there and indirectly that will be gives the emf and same uh, similar to that of the pyranometer it will generate the emf and that will be proportional to that part radiation it will be receiving the alignment indicator the tube alignment indicator will be provided tube with the black end inside the whatever the tube we are going to use that is black end inside the other radiation what are there those will be absorbed by that tube only beam radiation will be receiving at the black surface where it, the measuring will be taking place this is a one type of the such instrument that photograph will be there the explanation what of this spiral heliometer is there that will take here. This is an instrument which measures the beam radiation falling on the surface normal to the sun's rays. The beam radiation means it is directly which is falling uh, from the suns to the that instrument or on the earth's surface. In contrast, contrast to the pyranometer, the black absorber plate with hot junctions of the mobile attached to it. Okay, that black surface is there that is attached at the bottom of that tube. It is located at the base of the culminating tube. That is at the base of the culminating tube that black thermophile is attached. The tube is aligned with the directions of direction of the sun's rays with the help of two axis tracking mechanism and alignment indicator. By using that two axis tracking mechanism and alignment indicator, it will be aligned along with the sun's rays direction. Okay, then only that beam radiation will be false on the, the absorber plate. Thus the black plate receives the only beam radiation and a small amount of diffuse radiation falling within the acceptance angle of the instrument. Only very small amount of the, that diffuse radiation also falls within that acceptance angle which is to be measured 
similar to that. Whatever the EMF is producing, the similar to that uh, per nanometer. Here also that indicates the whatever the radiation amount is receiving by the beam radiation. Okay, this is about the per helimeter. The next we'll go for the sunshine recorder. The sunshine recorder means what is the bright sunshine is available uh, for the which duration. The duration of the sunshine availability during the day is measured by the sunshine recorder. And that how much uh, time the sunshine is available for that time we can use the instrument for the receiving the sun sun's energy and to convert it into a useful form of energy. For that reason the sunshine recording is also required. But that is measured by the sunshine recorder. This is one of the instrument. The duration of the sun sunshine in a day is measured using a sunshine recorder shown in the figure. Okay, by using this one we are going to measure it. The sun's rays are focused on the glass pier to a point on the card strip held in a groove in the spherical bowl mounted concentrically with the spear. Okay, here this is the glass pier. From the that glass pier, the solar radiation passes and falls here on the card strip, which is concentric to the this glass pier, held in the this groove which is provided in the spherical bowl. If whenever that the sun's radiation falls that will be burns a spot on it there is a burns a spot on it and whenever the sun will be moving the sun will be moving then the spot of burning will be continuous to move and this length of the spot burned on this card strip that is personal proportional to the duration of the sunshine availability okay here whenever this ray passes through this glass pia that will be focuses the that radiation on the car strip, the car strip will form a burn spot on it. And the continuous rotation of that is the movement of the sun, that the spot of burning will be moved. Okay, then morning to evening, for which duration the sunshine is bright, and for that duration only it will be burned. And whatever this length is there, it is proportional to the that whatever the sunshine availability is there. This is the glass pier, spherical bowl with grooves and marble base whatever is provided, grouted boards for the arrangement and flat form is provided for this sunshine recorder. And after this, whenever there is a bright sunshine, the image is formed, is intense enough to burn a spot on the card strip. That image, whatever form, that is intense enough to burn a spot on that card strip. Throughout the day, as the sun moves across the sky, the image moves along the strip. Thus a burnt stress whatever is there whose length is proportional to the duration of the sunshine is obtained on the strip. Like that length whatever the burnt spot we are going to get that is proportional to the sunshine record. Okay, in this way we are going to measure the whatever the availability of the sunshine is there. And here we can see the sunshine record. This is the glass pier. And there is a spot burned on this one, hemispherical, hemispherical groove, okay, of the, in that the card strip, whatever it is provided. Okay, that is, in this way we are going to measure it. Okay, this uh, picture we can see how the burning will be taking place. Okay, in this way, the three instruments which are used for the solar radiation measurements, these are required because of that, how, many, how much intense solar radiation is available in that location, so that we can use the particular conversion method, then we can uh, convert it for the useful uh, uh, form of the energy and we can use for the application. For that reason, we need the measurement of the solar radiation data, then only we can use that as a source of the energy. Okay, then we'll, uh, based on this one, the different method of the conversion are there, those I am going to discuss in the next session onwards. Thanks for watching, subscribe and comment and share if you like this session. Thank you.